Hey guys, Joe Pye here at Advanced Innovations. Welcome back to the shop. You know, I just finished watching a video of a guy making a large brass nut and a large brass bolt, and there was some struggle as to, okay, well, I've got the external thread. How big is the hole for the internal thread? Now, usually, I try to contribute some very useful information with most of the videos that I put out, and I call those shop gems. Well, this whole video, in my opinion, is a shop gem because it's just one of those things that once you learn it, you can't unlearn it, and it is so valuable to have in your box. And that is hole size for a specific thread. You've got a tap, what size hole do I drill? You've got a bolt, what size hole do I bore? How do you do it? Well, i got to say, we're going to start with metrics, and metrics have got to be the easiest to figure out because all the information is right there. It's already there. You take the size of the bolt, M10, right there, and you subtract the pitch, 1.0. So for this one, it would be 9 millimeters. And so on. This would be 3.75 millimeters. Imperial is a little bit different. There may be some math involved with Imperial, but it's not a big deal. You take the 10, and that is how many parts of 1 inch. So 1 tenth of an inch is 100, right? And 3 quarters is 750. Do it the exact same way. 3 quarters minus 100, tap drill, 650. 1 eighth of an inch, 125. 1 inch minus 7 eighths. Works every time. If you're doing a, if you're making a bore in a part and you've already got the external thread or already got the external calculation, subtract the pitch. Simple. Absolutely simple. If you just palmed yourself in the forehead and said, hey, I never knew that, all right, well, you owe me a subscription. Hit the subscribe button. Please help me grow this channel to 100,000 by Christmas. That would be the best thing I could get. Anyway, hope that helped. Quick and dirty. Thank you very much for watching. Joe Pye Advanced Innovations in Austin, Texas. I'm out.